Welcome to YouTube's favorite K-pop show, DKU. News. Danny. David. Today we have uh, some sad news. That's why we're toning down a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, we're not going to be very energetic or enthusiastic today because, uh, you know. Yeah, we had a very tragic event happen last week in K-pop. And in Korea, and in just as a whole, as a whole, as you guys know, Sully uh, passed away last week at age 25. Mm. So there's gonna be like a part one and two from for today's news. For part one, we're gonna let you know about Sully's um, unfortunate death. On part two, we're gonna expand into other sectors such as a war against hate comments, while other celebrities and many public figures are speaking out about it, and there's a whole mm. discussion and debate about using real names on the internet mm -hmm. uh, going on in Korea, so we're going to talk about that, so stick around until part 2. So first, to cover Sully's death, on Monday, October 14th, around 5pm, news broke that Sully was found dead in her home in Songnam, Korea. Her manager found her around 3.20pm when they visited her house after not being able able to get in touch with Sully. Um, there was no note left uh, except for a handwritten diary entry that had no date um, but reportedly had signs of her reflecting you know the changes of her emotional state. Mm. Preliminary autopsy results have been released on October 16th, confirming that there are no suspicions of homicide in her death. On October 17th, her family, friends, and fans bid their final farewells to Sully as her body was laid to rest. In the midst of this, something disappointing happened. Um, the disaster, the Kyunggi disaster and safety headquarters uh, issued a public apology because they had leaked the information regarding the time and location of her death. Uh, so apparently an employee had reportedly um, had access to the reports uh, regarding you know what was found at the site. He or she had leaked the internal reports onto social media and this information got spread around and obviously this is information that should have been protected and it's totally unprofessional and totally unnecessary to share around. Messed up. Yes. Just messed up. Now, many public, uh, many celebrities have publicly mourned her death. Sully's close friend Guara and Dean, who's recently collaborated with her on a song, Solbi, Hong Sak Chan, actresses Koo Hye Sun, Jung Neon, and many more. Former members of FX actually also came in immediately to, you know, mourn with the family and friends. Um, they postponed their schedule to attend the funeral. Um, immediately after the news broke, Luna and Amber postponed their activities of appearing in a musical and promoting her new song, uh, respectively. Victoria also halted her drama filming in China to attend the funeral. Crystal, who was in Korea, stayed for the entire three-day <sighs> duration of the funeral. Now, it's no secret that Sully had been heavily criticized uh, in recent years for her carefree character and advocacy for feminism in the public. Uh, malicious comments and cyberbullying directed at her um, criticized her exit from FX back in 2014 her romantic relationship with dynamic duo's Cheja, which who is 14 years older than Sully, and also not choosing to wear a bra in public and in her Instagram selfies. She has said that she suffered from social phobia, panic disorders, and depression uh, from the severity of malicious comments. A lot of people are thinking that this could be possibly um, one of the causes. Um, just to give you a little bit of you know, memory of Sully. Uh, Sully first debuted as a child actress in 2005, starring in Seo dong as a young princess. Four years later, she debuted as FX, uh, the youngest member of FX in 2009. And um, she was just 15. She was just 15 at that time. Um, her nickname was Giant Baby because she was the youngest, but she was also the tallest. And FX, you know, um, released numerous hits, Electric Shock, Red Light, Four Walls, etc. After exiting the group in 2014, Sully continued her acting career. She appeared in Fashion King and also recently Real. Um, and she's been appearing in drama such as starring as a cameo in IU's drama, uh, Hotel de Luna. And she's also recently released a song called Goblin, um, along with two other songs on their album, which all of them, the lyrics were written by Sully. She was also starring in a reality TV program called uh, Chili Market, uh, which 
aired last year and also she's been appearing as the MC for the night of hate comments Akpurebam, um, which has been going on until now mm. um, and it was where she was reading hate comments that were written to her mm. and other celebrities were coming on the show to mm-hmm. read their own hate comments mm-hmm. I think it's sad because Sunny had her own show where she read hate comments mm. and sometimes when Sunny had her this reading hate comments mm. show and she started this thing um, people were a lot of people were cheering off for her mm. saying oh Sunny you're my role model like mm. you don't really give a shit about anything right. and you you don't let the hate get that, get on to you mm-hmm. but apparently i guess we don't exactly know what really caused her death but at the same time it does seem like they did somewhat get to her maybe yeah i personally disagree with that show because uh, disagree in what way I mean, obviously, Seolli is the well-known figure to tied to hate comments in Korea, right? She yeah. received a lot of hate comments for yeah. no reason, yeah. obviously, for like Stupid being reasons. no bra yeah. or being like a I don't know, so-called freak among the Korean public. And the producer of that show uh, would have obviously casted her because of those elements. So mm-hmm. basically, in deep down, the producer would have wanted to like re- leverage out of her. Reputation. Well, we can't. I, 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 I'm not. Bl- I mean, I'm not blaming. I mean, I'm not. Stop. stop, stop okay. I'm not. I'm not blaming the producer. Of course, Holly agreed to the terms. As a celebrity or as a public figure, when that kind of gig comes in, and it's it's a good show. You have Shin Dong Yeop on it, and it's good for your image as well because you're confronting these hate comments, and it makes the public look at you as like this courageous person who doesn't care about hate comments. But in the inside, I wonder, like psychologically, whether she would have really enjoyed. The show, or would she have actually voluntarily, really genuinely wanted to go on that show? Because at the end, you're just trapped in that vicious cycle again. When the best way would be to get out of it, to escape of it. But because of that show, she had to go in that cycle again and confront those hate comments. As an end result, I think that show did play a really hard and bad factor on her uh, mental health and stuff like that. I, I, don't, I don't know. She was getting a lot of hate and even before that. Yeah, also the reason I'm saying this is because if you just look at the cues, the day she committed suicide was the day of the recording of that show, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And she didn't appear to it. Right. So there's no actual evidence that she didn't want to go to that show, but it just seems like a too much of a big coincidence to me that she mm-hmm. just did that before that show mm. and didn't contact her manager or anything so nevertheless yeah as we said on dk news every single episode mm. that we talked about so we were not like typically on her side we were just saying that these people are doing too much on bashing these celebrities we pretty much advocated her behavior or her no we didn't advocate no her. we do we just said we, we just don't said, care yeah, yeah we don't give a shit some people might frown at us but some people might have said like we need to like care about her mental health but i think the right way to like deal with celebrities is either you don't care about it and say nothing or you just compliment or like give applause or something like that don't send hate comments okay well that was okay yeah we can talk more about this we have another Mm. debate section afterwards in part two Mm. and part two is about the war against hate comments currently in korea so as i said after solely various artists and celebs came out and declared a war not only celebrities but there's a whole national wind blowing with the objective to eradicate the internet hatred well first of all singer songwriters iu and Park Jimin both declared no mercy towards hate commenters recently uh, iu's label kakao m put out a notice recently that stated iu was receiving hate comments and fake accusations that includes defamation and sexually harassing her and insults mm-hmm. so iu decided to take action and gather all the hate comments uh, actually hate comments gathered by the fans mm-hmm. she compiled all of those and filed lawsuits Mm. against every single one of them Mm. every single one of them Mm. with no mercy it's the exact wording so the lawsuits have already been submitted she just posted it after post submitting Um. and iu is planning for additional lawsuits meanwhile iu decided to postpone her upcoming release of love poem 
、uh, which was scheduled at the 27th or 29th to the 1st of November, saying that she needed a little time,、okay. which is totally understandable. And for Park Jimin, which recently exited JYP, she received hate comments、uh, because she posted on Instagram recently of herself, and she revealed that there were DMs sending、uh, body pics, like nude pics, offering meetings and comments, sexually harassing her, saying that her breasts were fake, they were artificial boob jobs, calling them some sort of fruits. She stated that she would report all the DMs. And all the comments. IU and Park Jimin, I've never seen them being so mad at hate commenters、mm. before. And、uh, I usually isn't this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the interesting part is like, I'm wondering what kind of hate comments IU even receives. Like, what hate can you do on、Most、IU when Park Jimin, Park Jimin of, wasn't、oh, even active and she yeah, posts yeah. a picture of herself and you're yeah, going yeah, on her see, for like artificial I tell, I tell you, like, these people are like, they have jobless. They have frustrated lives. They're looking for something to vent out their anger on.、Uh, Anyways, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad that IU and Park Jimin yeah, have yeah.、Uh, decided to、yeah. go full on these hate commenters.、Yeah. IU is one of the most influential people in Korea.、Yeah. And if she decided to take those measures after the funeral, during the funeral, I think the emotions she felt w a s rage, definitely.、Mm-hmm. And she decided to pull, like, right, right. put her wrath、Good、on、job. these hate comments. And they deserved it. So.、Yeah. But on the other hand,、uh, Victoria, another member of FX, posted a meaningful warning message, not as strong as IU, but like a meaningful, significant message on her Weibo. Since when did social media take over our lives? To measure our morals, to measure our relationships, to measure our emotions, to measure everything measurable. I don't necessarily know what that means, <laughs> but I kind of get a feel what she's trying to say. It, it's translated from China, Chinese, so please put that into consideration. A public platform is a place we can share with everyone, but it has become runway for a show. I post if I want to, I don't if I don't want to. There's no empathizing. But only personal recognition. You cannot find existence in a fake world like social media, I guess. And people need to take walks in reality. Stop wasting your time. Don't worry what to do to other people's lives. Even if it's advice and counseling with good intentions, there is a line. Don't step over the line. Take care of your own life. Live in the present. If you have a good heart, then that's enough. The weird guy. It's Friday. I mean, I, I, think, I think it's because we translated from yeah, Chinese. I think her intentions were like a lot of people were telling her, oh, like, this is what you should do, blah, 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 blah. So she, she was like, okay, just stop telling me what to do. I'll just、mm. do whatever I want. Yeah, basically, she's saying social media used to be a good place. but Now it's fucked up because、What? everyone's like using it as a、But、show and a to criticize.、Place. I think she's saying there are pros and cons of social media,、okay. but the cons have been blowing up these days, and、okay. there's only negative stuff on social media、okay. left.、Uh, so don't、yeah. waste your time on social media hating、okay. other people.、Okay. Utilize it in a good way. Now that was her message. I think it's kind of ambiguous but poetic at the same time.、Mm-hmm. And also, ex winner member Nam t a e o n also joined in with the criticism. He said that celebrities are also humans. I can relate because I receive many hate comments as well. Yeah, Nam t a e o n is one of the most hated people. People these、right. days, and how painful it must have been for my friend.、Um, I have also tried to quit life because it was unbearable. Many people say don't look at the hate comments. However, when your name is on trending and you get contacts from here and there, it's hard to resist. Please stop. I don't want to lose my friends and co workers anymore. I guess he was a friend with Sully and、uh, he got emotional and posted this. However, the netizens they weren't really cool about Nam's post,、uh, criticizing him that he had. Reasons to be called out、mm. since he had done some, something o m e t h i wrong.、Mm. I mean, the dating scandal with like Chang Jin and stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah.、Uh, weird, cheating yeah. and stuff. Whereas Holy actually didn't do any harm to any yeah, other person.、Yeah. There are actually a lot of other celebrities like on the list that、um, posted their condolences and、mm. some criticism against hate comments. But I guess those were the main, main celebrities.、Mm. IU was really close to Soli. And she was the one that stayed next to the funeral. If you watched our explain video for b i p b i she actually mentions it. She actually had a warning too, like in her song.、Right. She said, if you, cross if you cross the line, I'm gonna f you up. Yeah, and yeah. she did that. Yeah. And one messed up incident、mm. is that r- right after Sully died, she was an FX member, so a lot of people were looking at FX members' reactions. Right. Crystal. Didn't post anything on her social media, and then people were going for her. She、so、didn't、stupid. post anything on、oh、social、God. media, but at the end, a reporter released that Crystal was at the scene at the funeral. Three days. Three days. You long, don't have like, to post for, on Instagram to say I think goodbye I th- to your friend. Of course. I think it's more meaningful to be present there at the yeah, funeral than、yeah. posting something on Instagram. And just because she didn't post something, like people bashing her, that, I, this is. Exactly what Victoria meant. Right, exactly. Live in the present. Go out, take a walk in reality, guys. Just ridiculous. <laughs> I have no words. Honestly, like, we're not celebrities. Yeah. But since, as someone who has experienced the wrath of Twitter and, you know, social media,
I don't care anymore. I'm not saying like, I don't care as in, oh, like just send me all the hate you want. It's more like, I'm not dis I'm not surprised anymore mm -hmm. that people hate me. But what do you think would happen if there was like another second wave of like a massive cancellation or hate? I, I don't think I would care. Really? I, I, would I, be like, I think differently. I think- No, I would be like, oh, well, there, there goes my career. Mm, I don't think, I don't think so. If you're a human being, I think, you would get hurt more. No, I am hurt. I am hurt. That's why I don't care anymore because yeah, it's so. like my defense mechanism. I mean, I, I, I don't think care anymore. a lot of people in Korea are saying the term, uh, uh, she was suicided. She uh, was, uh, she yeah, was she suicided. Died of suicide. Yeah. So like that doesn't really make sense grammatically, but people are saying like but, society drove her off the cliff. But I cliff. totally understand. Like, I think Sully's death was uh quite shocking to me i understand where she was at the point because i feel like when you first get these like bunch of hate comments you do care mm -hmm. you do care and then as you realize like everybody on the internet hates you then you stop caring honestly and i think she was at that point where like i don't give a shit but also she's not like happy that she doesn't give a shit it's more like she's just given up and and i think that was why she did that show and, I don't know. Mm. And, and and honestly like since like I got cancelled like hardcore <laughs> a lot of people did this to me you know what's really not helping what? some of my friends um, like youtuber friends or other close friends even my uh, relative mm. actually they were like sending me like these links of oh I think like you should see this you're getting cancelled uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then and then they're like they're like fucking <laughs> army so they're like oh by the way like I know this is not a good time, but this is why you're getting canceled and this is what you should have said. And it's like, I'm on a fucking vacation here. I don't want to be reminded of <laughs> the reason why I'm fleeing from my country. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know, those those things, got if ever your, your celebrity friend is, or if your YouTuber friend is in this kind of like cancellation period, don't send those things because it just feels like a big middle finger to my face. Mm. It doesn't really help anything. Mm. Obviously I didn't say that to them, but mm. Hope you guys know. Like to share when I was like a little canceled, it just follows you everywhere and your emotional state changes like very capriciously. So I'll give you a virtual like example of it. I wake up, I feel good. And then I look at the comments, I feel fucking bad. I want to like just sink in the bed. And then I'm like, oh, I just don't care. And then I wake up and then I eat a meal and then go and go in the bathroom to poop. And then when I'm pooping, I'm looking at the I, I, it reminds me of the comments Were again. Were you cancelled? Yeah, of course. When? When did you get cancelled? I don't remember. Just because you think about yourself. Yeah. And also, I, was, I got splash damage from you. When you're taking a shower, I think it peaks when you're in the shower, personally for me. You see these virtual letters. Oh, really? Like, surrounding you. Like, oh. making a cylinder. I think you should go to the hospital. No, making a cylinder I, I, around I, I you. This. Like, flowing around your head. Oh. You just can't get rid of it. Oh. And then you feel miserable, and I'm like, I just want to sink down this bathtub. Oh. So, oh, yeah. it's it's very spontaneous, very capricious, and just because pe like people are saying, like, oh, she ordered fresh food for 4 a.m. doesn't mean... Like she can change her thought. No, I mean like it's she can't change those her kind thought. of thoughts yeah. come and go very very fast, mm -hmm. and I guess that was her threshold. It's very impulsive. Um, contacting your friend saying like, hey, like I saw this mm. on you know blah mm. blah blah mm. is definitely not helping. It it's reminds because, you of it because yeah. like I I actively tried not to go on social media right. because just like when I turn something on, it's like literally everybody was just saying I should die. Mm -hmm. um, so like I actively try not to do that. And then <laughs> and then it's like I wake up and you know, I got to check my freaking text because mm -hmm. I got to, you know, communicate with the outer world. <laughs> but then it's like, oh, by the way, let me send you this link of you getting canceled. <laughs> Screw that. Yeah. Anyways, Whatever. I don't care anymore. Rest in peace to Sully. Yeah, rest in peace to yeah, Sully. And uh, condolences from us. Yes. Um, post this incident, there have been a lot of conspiracy theories going around. Really? I, haven't, I have not seen any conspiracy No, they are really popular uh, right, right now. Like because really? a blogger actually predicted her suicide in his blog. This blogger is insane in my opinion. Why? He believes in, what is it? Um, 
the Illuminati and stuff like that. Okay. But he pointed out there's like 666 in Goblin MV, and then like if you subtract Chong Yun's death date with Sully's death date, it exactly matches 666. All these kind of like weird stuff is like okay. analyzed there, Let's and see. then people okay. have been analyzing SM MVs and finding like signs of Illuminati stuff like 666 and stuff like that and people are saying oh she wasn't she didn't commit suicide it was an act of Illuminati like doing a mental experiment on controlling celebrities and Britney Spears is one of an example and stuff like that is going on if you're interested in that don't look for it that's that's my opinion like <laughs> you just you just made everybody curious now my message is it's bullshit so don't look for it I got exposed to it because it's like uptrending in the comments and every single holy article I see it I don't even look at this I think that's um, second hand damage to the uh, remaining families don't get swayed by these conspiracy okay, theories okay. and just let's let's send her respect and okay. um, condolences okay on to the debate section I think this is worth being talked of and another hot potato related to this um, whole incident is the internet real name comment policy uh, after Sully's death many people in Korea have been signing petitions and commenting about the implementation of this policy there was even an article saying that seven out of ten Koreans agreed to it so basically the policy is literally revealing your name as your ID on like really? whatever like internet uh, portal as uh, with the comment you write on it so you have you have to go through a verification process and everything so people are expecting to this policy to become an effective method to eradicate hate comments however there are many other concerns as well so today's debate is whether we agree or disagree on the real name comment policy is this even a debate though like there, well, seven out of ten okay. people in Korea agree to it. Seven and out of ten people in Korea are dumb. Oh, dude, is that? Well, yeah, it's for I, for us. I mean, we're media students, right? So I I don't think I think you would have to be pretty dumb. Well, you're saying seven out of ten people in Korea are pretty dumb. Yeah, I'm saying seven out of ten people in Korea are really dumb. I mean, I I can understand their decision. I mean, I understand that this is a knee jerk reaction mm. to the incident of Sully's death but actually actually no because like every time something similar happened to this whether it's suicide or not mm. whether an artist gets like um, mental uh, disorder from hate comments and stuff actually all, all the time if you see in the comments people have been wanting like right 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 yeah. so like it's been an old topic <clears throat> yeah but it's like a reaction from those kind of articles yeah those kind of news yeah and I think people have decided, oh, now is the time. Like, we can't delay this okay, anymore. Because this is like the decisive moment. Right. I think that this is the dumbest thing ever because, A, we actually had a real name uh, system. Internet, Did we? Yeah, internet real name system back in 2007. We had a real name system. Obviously, the one they're talking about right now is having your real name as your ID. Right. We didn't have that. We had the ID attached to our real name and our social security number. Okay which resulted in hate comments still. Mm -hmm. Nothing changed. So people who are going to write these hate comments, they're frustrated with their lives. Like mm -hmm. I said, it's like road rage. And people already have like just a lot of anger inside them. Having a real name might stop a few people from commenting, but it's not going to eradicate the problem as a whole. Secondly, it's just obviously going to restrict the freedom of speech right. because it's a very slippery slope. Like. You know, you can say like, oh, like people won't post hate comments. Well, they won't post hate comments, but they will also be reluctant to, you know, criticize the government exactly. or something like that um, because they have a real name linked to everything. Mm -hmm. And by the way, um, a lot this this is one of the issues that Korean Internet had when they did implement the real name system. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, in 2007. And then they said it was unconstitutional in 2012. The Constitutional Court deemed it unconstitutional. And one of the issues that this uh, resulted was because foreign services, foreign websites had to abide by these rules and a lot of them did not have the infrastructure or did not have the will, honestly, to abide by these rules. Um, they were like not serviced in Korea. Mm. So actually there was a point where you, you couldn't upload YouTube videos in Korea mm. from, from Korea unless okay. you change your country's status to mm. some other country, mm. which is stupid. It's stupid. Mm. And it's only going to make Korea uh, an even more of, you know, an isolated island um, in the Internet, you know, um, in, in the Internet environment. 
um, and it is already isolated because of those five years of us implementing this policy and people like couldn't access services and foreign services couldn't come into mm. Korea. Mm. So it's stupid. Yeah, I agree totally. Um, it's this is not a debate. Um, actually, I, I think like some viewers might think it would be effective. Do and you know anyone who's an O? A lot of Koreans. Like, yeah. do you know personally? And Can you like phone them? No. Um, <laughs> I the the people the I think the people who agree to this. I've um, kind of like analyzed in my own way that are their behavior. Yeah. These people are the ones that never comment on the internet. They don't care. So they're like, oh, we comment should, on the internet we should make either. it all a real name because like I don't even comment anyway. So That's like a very those, selfish way. To no, no, but but anyways, like yeah. they're thinking like I don't even comment anyways, but these people are causing people to die. So like call them out, you know, make make them make them embarrassed of themselves, like be ashamed of yourself. I, I think that's the psychology yeah, behind yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, honestly, I agree, like it's a restriction of freedom of speech and not only politics, of course, politics would be the most um, sensitive topic. You won't you won't be able to speak about like the government, Br Big Brother is looking on you, like, you know, you're yeah. blacklisted and stuff like that. It actually happened like the blacklisting, the mm -hmm. previous government. So like it is, it is a real thing and not even politics, but like just sensitive issues that are crucial to be discussed about the the development of society already you can sue them and the problem was that i'm not saying it was a it was a problem because the celebrities couldn't sue them like didn't sue them but it was the society that formed like a environment or an atmosphere pressuring the celebrities like oh if you sue a person you're lame like you're you're, you're a public figure you should be able to bear it's with part that. of your job it's part of your job that was the twisted view upon celebrities but now i'm happy that iu stepped out and she can sue whatever she wants like whoever she wants with there's an ip there you can track it you can do whatever you want without I, a real name so i really wish i could sue <laughs> Yeah, I really wish I could sue, but I mean, there you are, guys are all living ab abroad. I can't sue you guys. I, yeah, there I are really those kind of te technical sue. difficulties. And, well, and you, who do you want to sue? People f on the internet. I want to sue everybody, but I, I would sue so many people if I could sue. Anyway, um, I, I just I just got to say, like, the real name system is just... Yeah, no. despite totally, no. um, I think the real name system is not... The solution to it, the direct solution to it, it is indeed a knee-jerk reaction. And the way to go is not making that policy, but I think we should change our mindset and views upon like how celebrities can cope with hate comments. They can, they're human beings as well, and they have the, every right to sue these malicious comments. We're doing more interaction on the internet more than offline these days, and I think the punishment for these like online crimes, online crimes should be strengthened should be enhanced maybe that yeah that would be a solution but i don't think the real name policy like would do a difference or would be an effective thing so that's our opinions but maybe some koreans watching this might have a rational reason why it should be implemented so or they're just dumb <laughs> please share your thoughts about this and uh, uh we had a very sad tragic week we lost a star in k-pop a very loved star. We'll be more careful in DK News as well. Uh, we will always base our opinions on facts. People who deserve criticism deserve criticism, but like people who don't for no reason don't. So I guess that's it. Uh, thank you for watching today. It was a little toned down and maybe kind of monotone for you guys. But next week, hopefully, we'll be back with happy news and quack back and all the good and juicy news again so look forward to that subscribe to ZKDK TV and also we have podcasts and exclusive reactions on Patreon mm. so check that out yeah this week I talked about um, the real name internet system oh really did you okay, uh, so, in detail so uh, yeah. if you want to talk about that go check out our Patreon and uh, we will see you guys next time Bye -bye. <laughs> Don't be afraid, just wanna tell you how